So the standard approach in Western thought, right, is always to say that the mind is independent of the body. This is Rene Descartes. So he came up with this uh, cogito ergo sum. So I think, therefore I am. So their dualism was always anything mental is one and anything physical is the other. The body is different. So they had this very clear cut line separating these two spheres. Uh, but over the last 40, 50 years, there has been this new approach coming up in the West in neuroscience literature of embodied cognition. So where they start to wonder if the body is not really that separate from your mental processes. So they start wondering if there's components of the body that contribute to mental processing. And one very famous one was this thing called the somatic markers hypothesis. So basically it says that emotionally charged events, when you experience them, they produce some body changes. These body changes, they are remembered in some structures in the nervous system. And then these structures in the nervous system, which maintain the traces of those events, they draw upon these when in future you have to make some decisions or do some behavior. And I actually got to work with the writer of this book who came up with this hypothesis, Antonio Damasio. Uh, I spent a few months in his lab. It's a huge lab. It's wonderful. Uh, so he basically titled his book Descartes Error. So he thought that uh, this concept of the mind being independent of the body was false. So his very uh, kind of simple and uh, elegant way of proving that uh, the mind and body are not independent was this thing called the Iowa gambling task. So this was just like a computer game. So where you had these four decks of cards, like playing cards, and the person had to like click at random, like you got like, I don't know, 20, 30 tries. Each deck had cards which were both positive or negative. So some cards would give you money, some cards would take away money from you. So, and each deck had different proportions of the gain and uh, debit cards. So like some decks, if you kept clicking, you would probably make more money. Some decks, if you kept clicking, you would probably lose more money. So the fascinating thing here was that in normal people, when your cursor hovered over, like deck, say deck C was the bad deck, your skin would start sweating and show, start showing evidence of stress. The fascinating thing though was like, this was long before the person himself was able to say that the C deck is the bad deck. So clearly this proves that the body was showing changes. There are parts of the brain and body which knew that this was the bad deck before the person's conscious mental processes could say that this was the bad deck. So this was wonderful and uh, this led to a lot of debate and discussion and it's uh, spawned a very interesting new field. And as a result of uh, research that has come out of that, um, there's been a resurgence of interest in this concept called interoception, which is like the internal sense of the body, how the body's various internal uh, states are communicated to the brain.